high-end precision and refinement. Now, when you're thinking about big bore air guns, those aren't always the first words that come to mind. Usually there's power, and then maybe consistency or shot count and accuracy, that definitely floats in there somewhere. But what if you could get really good power, extreme consistency, accuracy, and also high refinement? Well, that's what this review is all about. Now these air guns are packed full of features that resonate with some of the most discriminating air gunners. Features like Lothar Walther barrels, caliber specific tuned regulators, and fit and finish that far exceeds just normal air guns. Aesthetically, the M2R bullpup is very nice. It fits well against the shoulder and the soft touch stock feels good in the hand and the weight balances well for shooting from the shoulder. Now while this is officially a bullpup, the cocking system sits way back in the stock versus a more convenient location up by the trigger. This setup is awkward at best, and I understand the reasoning behind it, but rather than taking full advantage of the bullpup concept, they just created a different stock design and moved the entire action rearward. It works, but not as well as a true bullpup design. There's a weaver rail on the top for optics, and I've mounted a Hawk Sidewinder for my test. It has been a workhorse of a scope, and really my go-to when I need something to work without a lot of fussing about. I can trust that it will sight in and stay true on target regardless of what air gun I'm testing. Now I specifically requested the 35 caliber because I wanted to see just what a big bore regulated gun can do. The 35 caliber comes with a 7 shot magazine that needed a little bit of attention during my tests. There's a small spring loaded catch that wants to loosen up. This did cause a few indexing problems at first, but a quick adjustment and a drop of Loctite solved that problem immediately. For me, the most critical part of any bullpup is how well the trigger reacts with the system. The trigger mechanics on the M2R are very smooth, with a pull weight in the 9 ounce range. Now you can adjust the travel and the tension on the trigger, but I've not been able to really find a discernible second stage. If you're looking for one, this may not be the kind of trigger you want. Now my guess is that you're either going to love the trigger or hate the trigger, and the more time I get with this system, the more I like it. It's very light, very smooth, and has zero impact on the POI. As I mentioned before, our test product is chambered for 35 caliber. I specifically wanted to test a big bore because I wanted to know if you actually could get consistent shots out of a regulated big bore air gun. And the short answer is, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah you definitely can. The key to success with this starts with the air reservoir. It's designed to be filled to 300 bar, which is essentially 4300 PSI. Now that's a lot of pressure, and it may be a challenge for some to achieve more than just a couple times, even with a full carbon fiber tank. You're going to need to be able to get very close to that 300 bar mark to get all the usable shots. In my testing, I'm getting one solid mag, which drains the pressure down to about 200 bar. After that, you're outside the regulator's capabilities, and the velocity really drops like a rock. But what about that first mag? Frankly, that first mag delivers the most consistent velocities I've ever witnessed out of any big bore air gun. In my test, I'm getting an extreme spread of 3 or 5 feet per second with a solid 150 foot pounds of energy, and I'm shooting the JSB 35 cal pellets. The maximum shot count is about 9 or 10 shots, depending if you can get all the way up to that 300 bar. If you need several powerful shots with extreme consistency, this is certainly going to be the right big bore for you. Accuracy is certainly respectable, delivering 1-2 to two inch groups at 50 yards pretty much on every magazine. Now if you want to hit beyond that, you're going to have to really learn this rifle and do your part. This rifle really likes to be held very firmly and it requires good follow through, so after you take your shot, make sure you hold your aim point and watch that pellet fly to the target. You'll be surprised just how accurate it can be.
So here's my final summary. The Ottoman M2R bullpup really stands in a class by itself. There are other bullpups on the market. There are other big bore air guns on the market. There are other regulated air guns on the market. There may even be other air guns that put all of that together that I'm simply not aware of. But at this point in time, the only bullpup that I know of that delivers this level of craftsmanship, big bore shot consistency, power, and accuracy is the Ottoman M2R bullpup. 150 foot-pounds of energy with an extreme spread of three to five feet per second. Really? What more do you need to say about it? Now that I've spent some time with the Ottoman in a big bore caliber, I really want to get my hands on the small bore and see how their other guns do too. So I'd like to take a moment and thank Pyramid Air for sponsoring Ergon Web and these videos. When you're looking to make your next air gun supply order or buy your next air gun, do so over at PyramidAir.com. That's www.PyramidAir.com and let them know that Rick sent you their way. Now, when you're looking for real world, honest air gun reviews, think Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. My name is Rick Utzler. Thanks for watching.